That's the I.O. Express. So the way that this oh, system okay. works, this is set up, the laptop takes the input from the I.O. Express. It will also, also work with the I.O. HD. Uh, the I.O. HD would input over the Firewire. The I.O. Express inputs into the PCIe bus. To input, it, you're inputting through PCIe, and then you're outputting. All output of QTake is done through the graphics card. So the output is through the display port. We convert the display port to the DVI ex extender, convert that to SDI. Can now, I take a picture of this concoction? Sure. <laughs> I got a lot nicer one coming, though. <laughs> but you can take a picture of it. No, I just wanted just no, to No, you're more than there. welcome to take pictures of any of it. Um, so in the case of the, two, uh, uh, the, the 2X system, you're outputting two channels. You're outputting one output of the... Of the graphics processor, a big wide 38, 3840 by, by 1080 wide. So it's, it's two 1920s side by side. So this is outputting with one graphics processor, one great big super wide HD signal. And then the triple head to go uh, splits that into two, uh, into, um, two DVI signals. So now you've got 1920 by 1080 DVI number one, 1920 by, by 1080 so my two DVI points. number two. And what's that called? That's called the... Uh, that's, called the that's called the triple head to go. It's a Matrox triple head to go. They're like 399 bucks. And then you go into the Geffen scaler, and the Geffen scaler breaks that into two DVI to SDI feeds. Now, <clears throat> recent changes in the Apple's architecture may... may Make it so that you don't need to use the Geffen, but you will, st and you don't need to use a triple head to go because the new ATI card has two Display Port outputs. But what you will need is a couple of other adapters. You'll need to have a, a dual link uh, DVI to SDI or a dual link DVI so display. Sorry, Display Port to DVI adapter for each of the two channels, and then you could theoretically use the DVI <coughs> extender, which is this. $399 wonder right here um, to, to do it. The only limitation of this is that it will only output 1080i60. That's it. Whereas this can be set to scale 720p, 5994, you know, 720p60, 1080, so 5997, whatever output you want. Yeah. So this, this gives you all the output resolutions, whereas that gives you a fixed resolution. How much is it going to matter? Um, I guess that kind of depends on the DP, but I prefer to have this because I got all the, all the choices with yeah. it. Yeah. But if I don't do that, how much will I save? I'll save. Uh, we'll this is it. almost three thousand dollars, and those are those two yeah. at uh, at three ninety nine each. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. you're talking significant savings. Yeah. Yeah. And so what I I just bought the uh, the last uh, the eight core. What, can I do that with the eight core? Absolutely, this all works with eight core. But no, can I do the DVI extender with yes, that without the absolutely. Box? The ATI card works with the is backwards compatible with the eight core. Okay. Yes. And you sell everything that we sell everything. We sell we sell this and we sell turnkey systems. So we can take all the components, we can put it all together. We have a seven hundred and fifty dollar configuration fee where we install the software, go in into the system, do all the checks, make sure that the Parameters are right. There is a there is a uh, preferences file that goes along with QTake that uh, has to be set correctly, and uh, so you got to go into this preferences file. And this is something you'll also do not only on the original setup, but as you go along, you might need, you have the ability to turn on and off whether or not you have uh, variable speed audio, whether or not you're using the R3D file name for your media, whether or not you're using two boards for for input or not, whether or not your inputs are pre-muxed or, or muxed afterwards, um, whether or not you want to use multiple in and out points. So any of the things that they want to make as a user choice, they put in the preferences file. So you edit this preference file log, close it down, and restart QTake, and then your, your preferences change. 